Hello and welcome to today's social studies lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Okay? And next we'll do our stretching sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high. High to the sky. And now we'll go back down low. Touch our toes. Go back up high again. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And let's have a wave while we're there. And then back down to touch your toes. Stand up, hands on hips, and let's have a wiggle. Wiggle side to side. Stop. Wiggle again. Stop. And now, forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. And stop. And now we'll go round and round. Let's give our spine some exercise before we sit back down. Round and round. And stop. Now we'll go back the other way, round and round the other way, round and round, and stop. And to finish, guys, we'll do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So who can tell me or who can remember what did we learn about in the previous social studies lesson? Beginning with E. Something that describes the place or everything that is around us. The word environment. All together, guys, environment. So let's spell that together. 
E N V I O O N M E N T. All together, environment. environment. Yes. And in the previous lesson, we looked at four particular ways in which the environment contributes to our lives. Can anybody remember any of them ways? For example, how do we travel from place to place? Not houses, we travel transport. Excellent. Transport was one way. So let's read. T R A N S P O R T. So one way was transport. And I've already heard another way. Somebody said, beginning with H. Houses. Yes, the places where we live play a big role in our environment. So how do we spell houses, guys? H-O-U-S-E-S. So, so far, transport. Houses. And how about everything that we, we wear? What do we... Clothes. Clothes play a big part in our environment because everybody's wearing clothes. How do we spell clothes? Excellent. Transport. Houses. Clothes. And one more. Maybe sometimes if we want to talk to our friends, we will use telephone. If we want to watch a movie, we will look at the television. So these are all examples of technology. Okay? Technology. So let's spell that word together. It's quite a long word. T E C H N O L O G Y. Great, guys. So we've got transport, houses, clothes, technology. And these four aspects of life combine to give us our environment. Yes, our environment is made up of transport. Houses, clothes, and technology. Yes. And in the previous lesson, we looked at things that happened many years ago. 50 or 100 years ago in the past. Okay? The past. So, A-S-T. In the past. But then, we also looked at things that are happening now. Now we're not in the past. We're not yet in the future. Now we are in the, another word beginning with P, present. Now we are living in the present. Okay? P R E S E and T. Past, present. Excellent, guys. Very well remembered and well spoken. And teachers, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a flashcards activity to see how much our students remember from the previous lesson. So what you'll need to do is print off the pictures from the last social lesson. And we're going to see if our students can remember the four aspects, transport, houses, clothes, and technology, by looking at the pictures, if they belong in the past or in the present. So what we'll do is we'll ask our students to close their eyes. And when they open them, one of them will have a picture. They need to come forward place it in the correct column on the board and say which aspect of the environment it is. For example, it could be transport 
in the past. But we will see. Okay, so let's open our eyes, guys. And who has the first picture? Nadia. Nadia, so please come and join me at the front. Okay, so Nadia, what do you have here? What can you see in the picture, guys? Technology. Technology. I can see maybe an iPad or a telephone. So do we think, do we use this technology now in the present, or is this technology that was used in the past? In the present. Excellent. So Nadia, where will you place your iPad? In the past? No. In the present. So we can say technology in the present. Very good. Nadia, that was great. High five. Big round of applause for Nadia. Okay, so now, Nadia, you can relax. Everybody else, close your eyes. Okay, so let's open our eyes, guys. And who has the flashcard now? Bang Pon. Come and join me at the front. Okay, so let's see what's on Bang Bon's picture. What can we see here, guys? What can we see in the picture? Horses, yes. So maybe horses is a form of transport. And nowadays, people might still use horses, but when did they mainly use horses to transport? In the past. Excellent, Pak Bong, that's correct. So Bang Bon, where will you place your picture for in the past? Okay, so we can say transport in the past. Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Pang Pon. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom. You can do the same activity in your classroom. So pause the video and play on for around the next 10 minutes until all of the flashcards have been used. And remember to use a different student each time and have everybody practice speaking. So close your eyes, guys. Let's see who's next. Open our eyes, please, guys. Rakao, can you come forward and show your friends your flash picture? Okay, so what can we see in the picture? We can see a lady. What is she wearing? What's she wearing? Clothes. So what do we think? Do we think this is traditional clothes from the past? Or do we think it's modern clothes in the present? Past. I think it's traditional clothes in the past. So we can say clothes in the past. Excellent. Lakau, superb. Well done. Big round of applause for Lakau. Open our eyes again, guys. Who has the flashcard? Pat. Pat, can you come and join me at the front? And show your friends your flashcard. So what can we see this time? Car. What type of car? Wow. Sport car. So I think car is transport, yes. But is this transport from the past? Or is it transport from now, the present? I think so. So Pat, can you place it in the present? Very good. And can you say, transport in the present? You can see how it's different. We've got transport in the past, which was horses and carts. And we've got transport in the present, which is modern cars. 
So Pat, that was excellent, well done. High five and a big round of applause for Pat. Okay, so next picture and next student. Let's open our eyes, guys. Hakbung, can you have a look at your picture and bring it to the front? Show your friends. What can we see in the picture? House, houses. What's this house made of? Trees or wood? Now, do you think when we had trees made of wood or houses made of wood would be in the in the past? Excellent down. So we can place in the past column. And Pak Bung, can you say houses? In the, past. in the past. Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Pak Bung. <laughs> so now, as more pictures are going onto the board, we can see the different contrasts between environment in the past and environment in the present. So let's do some more pictures. Hey, let's open our eyes, guys. Net, can you come and join me at the front? And let's see what's on Net's picture. Okay, so this time, what can you see? Houses, yes. So we've already had wooden houses in the past. So where do we think these houses belong? In the present. Yes, these are what houses look like now. Made of stone. Okay? So we can place the flashcard here, Net. And we can say together, houses in the present. Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Net. two more pictures to go. So let's see who can do them. Okay, let's open our eyes. Prel, please come and join me at the front and show your friends your picture. Now what do we think here, guys? This one's quite difficult. This is a picture of somebody making something. But notice how they're having to do it with their hands. No electricity, no machines, and no telephone or tablets. So we think this is a form of technology. This is how people used to make things. But is this how they make things in the present or in the past? In the past. Excellent, Lakgao, yes. Before we had electricity, people had to make things by hand. So we can say, technology, technology. In, the past. in the past. People had to make tools that they use with their hands. Nowadays, we have machines to make things like this. That would be technology in the present. But in the old days, we had to use our hands. And that's technology in the past. Prel, excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Prel. <laughs> okay, last flashcard. Let's see who hasn't gone yet. Chu, come and join me at the front, please. And let's see what's on Chu's flashcard. What can you see? I can see clothes. Are these clothes from the past? Or do you think these look like modern clothes? Yes, these are clothes from the present. So, Chu, can you put your flashcard here? And can you say clothes from the present? Yes, this is the sort of clothes that women will wear these days. 
Today, we have clothes in the past. These are clothes in the present. So, Tew, that was excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Tew. <laughs> and a big round of applause for everyone for a good job. Teachers, what we'll do is we'll leave the flashcards on the board so our students can get a good idea of environment in the past and environment in the present. Because the final activity of today's lesson is they have to think and draw themselves pictures from the past and pictures from the present. So they have some visual aids to look at. And now it's time for our PowerPoint presentation so that we can learn more about natural resources. Yes, today's lesson is about natural resources. Can anybody think of any natural resources that we use? Trees, excellent. Water is another one, great. Animals, yes. Yes, air. Animals, trees, and water are all excellent examples of natural resources. And what we're going to look at now is to see how they were used in the past and how they are used nowadays in the present. And we can see the differences between the two. So guys, let's all turn our chairs to have a look at the TV screen. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation about natural resources. In the past and present. Yes. So first of all, guys, let's see the different types of natural resources. We have vegetation. And vegetation means plants flowers and grass, soil, yes soil is in the earth, what we use for digging crops, animals such as here we have buffalo, goat and hen, we use different animals for different purposes. Another type of natural resource is minerals. Minerals such as gold, diamonds, silver, or gems. Yes, lots of things that people wear as jewellery, expensive things, are minerals. And they can originally be found inside the earth. And finally, and possibly the most important type of natural resource, water. Yes, everything on the planet needs water to survive. And one more type of natural resource in the sky, beginning with A, air. Yes, we have air too. So in the past, very much dependent on natural resources. Yes, in the past, there was no electricity, which meant very little technology. If people needed things, they had to make do with what was in the earth already. Remember, our houses made of wood. Our streams is where we find the water and the land is the grass. If people wanted to eat things or do things, they had to use natural resources because there was very little technology. In the past, houses and domestic consumption. Consumption. River and bodies of water. Yes, you see this house here. This is a house made of wood. And it's located right next to the river. Because there was no way for the water 
to be channeled to the houses. Like now, we have pipes and pipelines. You go home, turn on your tap, the water comes out. In the past, they had no pipes. So they had to live next to the water supply. And then when they want water, go to the river and take some. That's how they got water in the past. And in the past, agriculture. Again, agriculture. Does anybody know what agriculture means? You might know it already, but a different word. Farming. Yes, taking care of animals and growing food is agriculture. And transportation. In the past, there were no cars, no airplanes, no trains. So people had to walk everywhere unless they were rich enough to own, what can you see here? Horses, yes. If people had enough money, they would buy horses. And you see the man sitting on the back of his cart? The horses would pull the cart. There was no cars to drive or petrol to use, so people had to use horses in the past. But now we're into the present. Depend less on natural resources. Yes, nowadays we have water supply. When we're at home, we turn our taps, water comes out. And when we're at home, if we flick the light switch, we get electricity. That means people are less dependent on natural resources. Nowadays, people can live far away from the water. It doesn't matter. They can get water from their tap. House and domestic consumption. House and domestic consumption. Ready supplies and clean water at home. Yes, no need to go to the river or to the ocean to get water. No need to use candles for light because we have running water and electricity. When it's getting dark at home, we can just turn on the light switch. And agriculture, mechanic water supply. Nowadays, in the present, we have machines. Machines to spray the water on the crops. If it doesn't rain for a long time, the crops will get dry. So we can turn on the machines to water the crops. In the past, they didn't have that. They would have to pour the water themselves. And transportation nowadays is modern. What type of transportation can you see in the picture? Trains, yes. Can anybody tell me other types of modern transportation? Airplanes or helicopters. Yes, in the present, we have air travel. Airplanes, helicopters, and trains. And cars too. Well done, Lackow. In the past, none of these, but now we have lots of different transport. So, any questions, guys? Okay, that was excellent. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation 
so that they can get a better understanding of natural resources and how they are different in the past to what we have nowadays in the present. Nowadays, with a lot more technology, things are a lot easier to get hold of, such as water supply and electricity. But in the past, things weren't so easy. So that was great, guys. And now, time for our stretching sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by walking on the spot. Stop. Walking on the spot. Stop. Walking on the stop. Turn left. Turn left again. Turn left. Left again. Hello. <laughs> Walking on the spot. Jogging on the spot. Stop. Jogging on the spot. Stop. Jogging on the spot. Move. Move. Jogging on the spot. Quickly. Stop. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right again. Hello. And now, let's go down to a little ball. Five. Four, three, two, one, jump. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. And now, teachers, it's time for our final activity of the lesson. And what we're going to ask our students to do is use their knowledge that they've learned in the previous lesson and also this lesson too, and ask them to draw two pictures each two things from the past and two things from the present. So all that you need to do for this exercise is provide your students with a plain piece of A4 paper. And what our students can do, like this guys, have your paper this way, like landscape, and then draw a line down the middle. One column for past and one column for present. Now you can think about anything you want. Four things that we've looked at. Transport, houses, clothes, and technology. But our students can think by themselves and draw two pictures that relate to the environment in the past that they've learnt about, and two things that relate to the environment in the present. But what's the first thing to do with the paper? Write our names on top. Excellent, guys. So, Chu, this one's for you. Oh, yes, and give our students around 15 minutes for this activity. And once they're done drawing, they can call it too. Nadia, for you. Pakbung, for you. Ned, for you. Down, here's yours. Bangpon, this one's for you. Prel, thank you. You're welcome. Bakau, for you. So, guys. Have a think. Environment in the past and environment in the present. If you can't think yourself, there's plenty of examples on the board. But if you can think of your own, even better. And we need two pictures, two drawings of life in the past. It could be anything. Clothes in the past. Transport in the past. Houses in the past. Or technology and then two in the present, like now. So bank one, first thing to do, two columns on your paper. Column one, past, and column two, present, like we've got on the board here, these two words. Past, present, and then two drawings of each. So you could think about transport in the past. And it doesn't have to be a horse. In the past, people walked places. So you could do a picture of a person walking. Or riding a horse. And nowadays, transport in the present could be an aeroplane. Or anything you want. You can think by yourselves. You think two things from the past. 
We've got transport, horses, clothes, houses, and technology. Or you can think by yourself what life was. Two drawings, two from the past. Yes. Excellent, man. So two drawings of life in the past. There's some on the board in the past. Net, you see here, transport in the past. Horses. Yes. So that's an example of life in the past. We need two examples from the past and two examples from the present. That's excellent, Dan. I can see straight away Dan's doing houses from the past. And houses in the past, they weren't made of brick, they weren't made of stone, they were made of wood. We still get houses now made of wood too. But they were all made of wood in the past. And in the present, if you're going to draw a house, you could do a big stone house. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the final activity of the lesson, which is where they had to provide two examples of life and environment in the past and two examples of life and environment in the present. And they can use the things that we've talked about in this lesson, or they can think by themselves. And as you can see, my students here have done a great job. So well done, guys. That was excellent. <laughs> and that's all we have time for for this lesson. So we hope you've enjoyed it, found it interesting, and had some fun too, particularly with the final activity. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we all turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Bye-bye. See you again soon. <laughs>